Yeah. Like top ramen. Yeah, like Japanese. No way. Yeah, the first time I heard about it, I was like, I don't know how to feel. You don't need the taco just like that. You gotta twist your head a little bit. Just like that. So that's that's the way how you eat tacos here. Mm. I heard that everything started in TJ. You know, when um, Californians were going to TJ, they wanted to have cheese in their tacos. I'm out here at El Paisa Tacos, and today my friend Uriel is gonna take me on a little tour of the place and show me like what the whole ques quesabirria thing is all about. The first time I heard about this quesabirria, I was like, what? What is that? You know, like, <laughs> what, what are you guys talking about? But it's pretty much very basic. It's beef and cheese. I heard that everything started in TJ, you know, when um, Californians were going to TJ, they wanted to have cheese in their tacos. So that's how everything started with uh, quesa tacos. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, birria was a favorite meat for everyone and quesa birria. So yeah. Yeah, I'm happy about this. I, I always tell people, imagine a quesadilla had a child with a birria taco. <laughs> that's a quesa birria right there, a child. The quesa birria actually saved this business during the pandemic. They were having a very, very hard time back in March at the beginning of the pandemic when everything was um, closed. And Miguel, the owner, called me and he was like, you know what, I have this idea. There's some quesadilla tacos that I ate in Tijuana. And pretty much he explained everything, right? It's like a quesadilla with cheese and birria. It's beef, it's everything. I was like, well, let's do it, you know? Um, you should put it out in your menu and make it happen. And now, any Mexican restaurant you go, there's quesadilla. So it's like a thing that came and it's not leaving anytime soon. Is that quesadilla ramen? Yeah. Like top ramen. Yeah, like Japanese. No way. Yeah, the first time I heard about it, I was like, I don't know how to feel about this, but I gotta say it's good. No it's way. good. We're gonna get it right now. Yeah. About to get the quesadilla and the quesadilla ramen. Nice, so let me show you guys what it is. It, this thing is huge, like... I will say, uh... uh this cup? Ounces. Yeah, this cup's huge. <laughs> yeah! Now that we're sitting down, safe to move this guy. Here we are. Look at this ramen. This is insane. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and something really cool about this sopa birria, ramen birria, is that um, when I eat it, I like to eat it at the same time I'm eating my quesa birria tacos. It's like the, it's like a great combo, you know? Oh, you dip the... Yeah, you dip the let, taco. Let's and, try it. And, and then bite the jalapeno. And then bite the jalapeno. <laughs> So here we go. So you're getting the you're getting the juguito yeah, and the ramen. The juguito, so yeah. it's a life hack right there. <laughs> mm. How do you think? Mm. So good. Ooh! Definitely felt the jalapeno. It's not as spicy as serranos though, so like you can hang with it. Like, and it's gonna get messy, so. I probably I probably shouldn't have worn <laughs> my, my Selena shirt. A lot of people keep asking me where I got this Selena shirt. I got it from my uh, my buddy Jimmy Hits. He makes them. You can buy them online. I'll leave the link in the description. This cup is huge. Um, I kind of want to get like a. So think about it, the a plastic spoon or fork. <laughs> like yeah. it's huge. Yeah. The I, cup is, it's huge. <laughs> it comes with two tacos and it's only 15 bucks, so. Well, well, even even if you get just the the juice, like other places, like if you watch the Mitote Park one, a lot of places charge you for just the juice. That's how high in demand the quesadilla yeah. juice is. So getting it in a soup with ramen, with more meat, getting the tacos, it's a steal to me. You had to get a lid on this. You're probably not gonna finish it. We're gonna meet up with our buddy Neil Pacheco from What's Cooking Sonoma County yep. over at Al Carbon. And we're gonna go have some quesadilla tacos out there too. Yeah. Neil, okay. the, the legend. What's Cooking in Sonoma County yeah. Mr. Guapo y el Chingón. <laughs> <laughs> Guapo y el Chingón. El Chingón y el Guapo. <laughs> Hell yeah. From El Compa Neil, so, I gotta say, this guy knows everyone in the cooking industry. Like. If you wanna, if one day 
you're not from Sonoma County and you want to go to the best places, reach out to Neil Pacheco. He will take and you everywhere. He Thank also you. has a, a channel. He goes Facebook Live all the time. It's uh, What's Cooking Sonoma County. I'll leave the link in the description. Go check him out. He has super cool stuff. Um, Quesaviria, actually, one of the first times I ever saw it was uh, through uh, Neil Pacheco. So it's just like coming around full circle. We're going to go and... Uh, Go to this place with Neil Pacheco himself to try the tacos al carbon quesadilla. Stay tuned! You know something that I, I really love this place. I mean, this guy's been here now for three years. They also own Cancun restaurant across the street. They do amazing quesadilla. They also do really cool street tacos in the night. I don't know if you guys ever been in TJ, but it's a it's a different hype. You know, it's oh yeah the the. TJ has like the most delicious tacos. I used to live there when I was a little kid. Like their tacos are to die for. The tacos I enjoy here is uh, El Taco Labrador. I love cheese. It, it's uh, they put the cheese on the, on the plancha. And, yeah, actually that is the one that won the competition. Remember? Yeah. They won, right? Yes. Yeah, so if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it right now. Um, and we bought a bunch of tacos on Sebastopol Road and uh, Tacos Al Carbon actually uh, won the best taco. And that's what uh, Neil was talking about right now. Right now, they get it ready in the kitchen. Uh, Moises is the owner, one of the owners here. So he'll be cooking for you guys. So you can see a little bit of the process of the quesadilla. We're gonna go inside the kitchen and, and check it out the process. And then finally the product, how everything's presented to, to the customers here, okay? Hey, um, vi las quesadillas en internet y... Um, quise ponerlas a prueba y a ver cómo se miraban pues de, de, de ricas y, y si están funcionando bien. A la gente le está gustando mucho. La clave del, de las quesavirres yo pienso que es el sazón y para que la gente le guste. Look at this. So we're over here. I don't know if you can see it. Tacos al carbón. About to dig into these. Hey, a lot of people think this is a dipping, which we do use it for dipping the taco, but it's actually a soup, you know? And I like to always put a little cilantro, cebollita, un poquito de limón. And this is, that, that was a lot of limón. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for hangovers. I guess I'm a real celebrity now because I'm on video eating with Neil Pacheco himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It what? doesn't get more official than that. Once, once you have a meal with Neil Pacheco, you're officially welcome to Sonoma County. <laughs> you need a taco just like that. You gotta twist your head a little bit. Just like that. Do you notice that, uh, Mustafa, yeah. right? Uh -huh. that's, the, that's the way to eat a taco. Yeah. You gotta twist your head a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's very popular. You notice that. People when they eat tacos, they just eat it like that. So that's that's the way how you eat tacos here. Mm. And, Amazing. And that's the truth. That's why most of the thumbnails, you'll see them like this. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, guys? It's so delicious. I mean, every place is very unique. It's very different. Meat is super tender. I like. I like how tender the meat is because it complements how crispy the tortilla is like yeah. this tortilla has a huge crisp on it delicious first time i watched something about quesadilla was somebody from las vegas during this type of dish um and that's when i start following this guy days later i come across with taquerel paisa he became very popular the first uh, the first few months and then I noticed it start popping up in every most of the restaurants, in Latino restaurants in Oma County. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, if you go to Latino restaurants in Oma County, you'll be able to find the quesadilla. I don't know what you think, but yeah, I agree with you, Neil. Um, quesadilla it's a, a dish that came to Sonoma County and it's not leaving anytime soon. You can find it anywhere. Um, there's people who only sell this on the weekends. There's people who sell it every day. But whatever place you go, ask for quesadilla, you're gonna have it. It's almost like a secret menu at a lot of these restaurants, I feel like. like You don't necessarily see it listed on the menu, and if you do see it listed on the menu, it uh, you might not know what it is. So you don't know to order it. But now you know to order it, and now you know what it is. And now even if it's not listed, they might still have it. And if they don't have it on the weekday, they might have it on the weekend. We couldn't end this show 
without coming back to El Paisa and getting their quesavirria pizza. So they have a quesavirria pizza. Have you ever heard of quesadilla no, pizza? No, actually, uh, no, but I think it's one of the first ones that El Taquerel Paisa, Miguel Canseco, has come out with this idea of quesadilla pizza. You, you seen everywhere the quesadilla with the corn tortilla. That's like the most popular way that they serve it here in Sonoma County. But uh, in a pizza style, not yet. So pizzabirria is pretty much, um, it's flour tortilla. Yeah. Instead of corn flour, and it's, yeah. it's big, we cut it in pieces, oh, wow. and it's easier to dip. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, so his name is Edwin, he's one of the main chefs here at the El Paisa. So, Mustafa, let's take this out uh, and enjoy it and taste a little bit of the uh, pizza birria. Some people call it pizza birria, I call it food coma. Look at it. Papa. And it's actually cut like a pizza, too. Like, this is, I've never seen anything like this. So that was that. Thank you for joining us. Enjoyed all the great food. Yeah. Oh my God, you know. Hey, my friends, in Sonoma County, stop by and check it out one of these restaurants so you can taste a little bit of what we have here in our county. It's, of course, Sebastian Puron. Mi casa es tu casa. Aquí nos vemos. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a nap now. I ate so much. Yeah, this is definitely food coma food. So come check out, you know, some of this food. It's delicious. If you have any ideas for the next vlog, leave it in the comments, like, subscribe, tell all your friends about it. I'll see you guys next episode. <laughs> they all left, but I'm still munching. I just had to get a couple more bites and I had to take some home for my wife. Um, so they're making it right now.